Today I've got some crazy inside out between the legs moves. That are gonna be great for getting some oohs and ahs, for breaking down defenders, for adding a little flash to your game, for challenging your ball control, challenging your footwork, but not so good for if you're in front of your coach, because these are a little bit too flashy for what they'd probably wanna see. But if you wanna get all those other benefits and have something to, fun to do in your practice or pick up basketball, all great things to work on. Coach Jesse Mitch with Get Handles Basketball. Subscribe and click that bell icon to catch the newest videos. So let's jump right into these moves. So the first move is gonna start a little more basic and then we're gonna get a little bit more advanced and flashy as we go along. The ones at the end are probably the flashiest and all the little details I'm gonna give you along the way are gonna help you learn these moves a lot more quickly and learn how to do them effectively on a defender. And then if you wanna get really crazy and have like unlimited options as far as ways to remix this and come up with some crazy combos with it, I'm gonna give you some moves that you can add to the beginning of this and to the end of this. You'll definitely wanna see that. So let's just start with the basics, going inside out between the legs. So you know how to do that because everything's based off that, right? So we're gonna have our hand come from the outside of the basketball over the top and then pull it through in like a circular motion like this. Key tip I can give you is to tap the inside of your leg. If you do that, the ball will end up in the same spot every time and now I can look right at you. I got no reason to look at the basketball because I know right where it's gonna end up and my hand can just feel the basketball and know where it's gonna be. Big tip for you being able to focus on your defender when you're in a game situation so that'll make all these moves more effective and you'll have a lot better control. Click that like button if those tips help and leave a comment, say this helps. So the first option we got from this is a lot of times, you know, you'll, you'll drive past your defender. You might even see some NBA guys do this. Steph Curry, Kyrie Irving, Chris Paul have used the move like this to blow by their defender, right? So your defender at first will probably be confused by this first part here. But by the time the ball gets into this hand and you start moving this way, they're probably going to know what's coming, right? So we're going to take advantage of that and get them to move that way really far, but actually fake them that way because we're going to go a different way. So that's gonna make them look bad, right? We're gonna come from this, sell a fake, lean into it, and cross over. Something a little more basic. So it's a big tip is that you step with the same side foot as the hand that's dribbling and lean into that. With that, that'll give them that little extra indication that yeah, he's going this way, right? But we're really just setting him up to beat him. Good chance he'll even break some ankles with this one. It's the, probably the easiest one, but one of the ones that you'll have a really good chance of breaking them down with. But the ones further in the video, if you get them off, you're definitely gonna get some oohs and ahs and you have a really, really good chance of breaking ankles with a couple of them. We'll talk about that in a second. This next one actually has a good chance of breaking some ankles. Inside out between the legs, tapping it right into a behind the back. But how you do it is huge. You don't wanna do it like the last one where we let the ball come up wide here. We wanna make sure we're meeting the basketball down low. That's a big key because this way, before they even know what's happening, we're already coming back that, this way because we're going between the legs and we're kind of shifting our shoulders back this way just a little bit, right? They think, okay, he's coming this way and the ball's already coming that way. That's why you gotta meet the basketball down low so that timing is right. If you wait with it too up high, you're not gonna really be able to get, get it off in time to get past them this way. So when you're doing it, make sure the hand's right here down low. The second the hand touches the basketball, the defender won't even be able to see it, right? You can't even see the ball right now. So they don't really know what's coming. They probably think you're coming back that way. But you're just gonna push it across right away. You're rolling it more forward with that quick behind the back, okay? So it's kind of roll, kind of a tap, kind of like a little hit, but you want it to be forward. You don't want it to be sideways. I mean, you could do it sideways to kind of set back up and just go into something from there. But if you really want to get past them and break them down and break their ankles, forward is the way to go with it. The other things you want to pay attention to is do this close to your defender. If you're far away, good chance the ball could get stolen. It wouldn't really make sense. But if you're tight to them, it's a perfect move to do. And you could possibly break their ankles because you might get a little body contact and they just have to react harder to that movement because you're close to them. Anytime you're closer to your defender, better chance of breaking their ankles. Now 
next variation we're starting to get even crazier with. Leave me a comment, let me know who you think has the best flashy handle. We're going inside out between the legs again. Step forward with the opposite foot so we're kind of sideways, but we're not gonna stop there. It's gonna be a continuous motion. You wanna catch the basketball with your hand slightly in front of the basketball for this one. So it's right here, okay, as we're stepping forward. And we're gonna continue that motion by pulling back, okay? So whichever hand has the basketball, we want it here so we can pull it back. Same side foot comes back to complete a spin move. But again, all that's gonna happen smooth. So it's gonna look like this, boom, okay? Two more variations and these are insane, tons of flash to these and the challenge goes up and then I'll give you those unlimited things that you can add to the beginning and the end. So this next one, we wanna go inside out between the legs and kind of scissors our legs so this leg's more forward and stay put there. From this position, we wanna get the other hand to come over the top of the basketball here and we're gonna pull it back through the legs. Couple key tips to make sure you can get this down and to make it work on your defenders. Number one, let the basketball come out a little bit higher and wider and exposed on this one. We want that because that tells the defender like, hey, either A, I might drive this way or B, come try to steal the basketball. Either way, both those things are happening to this side. So it opens up this side for us to come back with this move, right? The other tip you want to pay attention to is on the inside out between the legs we tap here. On this dribble, tap on this side of your leg so the ball will end up coming through exactly where you want it every time. So all together it would look like this, boom, boom, okay, drive past them. And then the final variation is going to be kind of similar to that, so we're going to go inside out between the legs, keep our legs kind of in this scissored position, hand comes here, that all remains the same, but you wanna get this hand on the basketball a little bit quicker, and you can allow it to float from there, but just get it on quick so you have control, so as it's coming up, you can do this next part while you're in control, which is the scissors your legs back to this position, and then we're gonna sham got it between the legs. So just like the inside out between the legs, tap the inside of your leg. So that's gonna look like this, boom, boom, okay? Similar effect that the last move is gonna have, it just looks a little flashier, crazier, with the leg scissors in. And then if you wanna get even crazier, you wanna add some flashy moves to the end or the beginning of this, right? This YouTube video has some Spider-Man basketball moves. And this is another YouTube video with some moves that I came up with that are just as crazy, if not crazier. Again, you can put those to the end or the beginning of this. If this video helped, click that like button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon to catch the newest videos. And I'll see you in one of these videos next.